So I really just needed a break from uh, signing calendars for like three days now, signing, signing, uh, and my girlfriend has been packing, packing, and yeah, my dear old mom has been um, printing out labels, so it has been crazy. So uh, I just sneaked out this morning with a um, sort of like a thermal of coffee, and then now I just thought a few hours here whew, in the forest doing a little landscapes would be perfect. It's not the, the mist here that there has been the last few days uh, and I have been out. Some of you have probably seen uh, some of my pictures on Instagram from this forest where everything is full of mist and fog and wow, it has been really, really good. I rarely do landscapes, but uh, this time uh, I just couldn't resist. And especially because uh, I've spent some days with a, a very good landscape photographer, Nigel Danson, and watching him uh, do some landscapes up, up here really inspired me to get out myself and, uh, and try. Um, I think it's a year since I've been up here photographing landscapes, or what do you say, wood, woodscapes or forestscapes, I don't know what it's called, but regardless, it's really nice. Um, just, uh, yeah, cheers. It's just like nothing as good as a cup of coffee in the woods. It's it's perfect. But just uh, I really find it hard with the landscape photography because I think it's the composition thing. I'm used to photograph uh, maybe uh, maybe some macro or animals or animals animals in their environments, and then suddenly you just have that, that you have like a subject you can focus on and and that has your attention. But with landscape photography. It's just like 360 degrees. It's it's beautiful uh, where to point your camera, uh, what angle to use, like what uh, lens. So uh, for me, it's just about trying to to uh, trying to walk around here without too many expectations. And then every time I see something that I really like, it's just to photograph. It's so simple. Um, and, and I like these trees in there because they are just placed so they like you just can't see th uh, through them. It's so dense and then there's a little dark spot there and then yeah, it's really it's like the green and the gray and the little red in the in the button. And you maybe also saw I was uh, tweaking the white balance a little bit uh, to the to the red because I find always the Nikon is a little bit uh, too green and uh, that's why I take this a little down. Uh, on the red side and I know I can just do that in Lightroom but with a single click and um, uh, I can do a lot of these adjustments that I do here in Lightroom with a single click but I love um, getting the photo as close as possible to the final uh, image and I do very very little uh, image editing on my photos just a little maybe white black uh, contrast uh, and then sometimes I tweak the white balance uh, if I if I haven't got it right. But uh, yeah, and then of course cropping. That's more or less it what I do. So uh, that's probably also why I don't make a video about uh, image editing because it'll be extremely boring. There's uh, no cool tips and tricks there. So uh, oh, too much talking. I haven't been talking a lot for a while. So now you have to uh, now you have to keep up with that. Mm. But another thing. Um, I find very useful here was the setting I did about the um, exposure delay mode. I sometimes use that with the big telephoto lenses. Um, but actually Nigel uh, gave me this tip about using it for landscapes because I'm ma probably making a photographer's Friday about it beca because there are some really annoying thing about the Nikon Z6. Kind of reset some settings every time I turn off and on the camera. Both of my Nikon's uh, Z6 are like that. Uh, and I know uh, other people have the same issue, so, uh, but more about that later. At least it works when I put it on exposure delay mode, uh, so I don't get the shaky uh, footage. Yeah. And I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for uh, pre-ordering uh, and ordering my calendar. It's basically, except from I think 48 calendars or something like that, it's uh, totally sold out. And my... Uh, as you can see, they are there are calendars everywhere, and they are going out 
during next week to uh, worldwide Europe and of course Denmark and um, this hand is uh, getting sore of uh, writing uh, uh, signatures like all the best in my signature on all the calendars so yeah So, I think I want to, I also have to go back because uh, they are packing back home and uh, I should probably sign some more calendars now. But uh, I just want to go to, there's a dark forest up here, like a, uh, I can't, I don't know if it's called pine trees or spruce uh, or something, but it's up there with just a, a few minutes walk. I want to go up there, just make a last picture, um, maybe something of some ice and a cup of coffee and yeah, then home and um, let's go up and have a look up there. I just, uh, just because I'm so uh, grateful that I have like found my motivation for some landscapes up here in the forest. And like I'm 10 minutes away from home and it's fantastic. I have made a few videos from up here, but I just love, I know that I'm traveling around the, the world with my camera, but I love photographing in nature just outside my home because it's awesome. It's it's here and it's just to go here, it's just to get out with the camera and I always get happy and I always get energy and it's the perfect place for a cup of coffee and so uh, yeah, thanks Nigel for for like kick my motivation in the right direction for this kind of photography. I will put a link to uh, Nigel's, uh, he has a really good YouTube channel where he does a lot more instruction than I do, so I'll put a link to his channel in the description, but uh, yeah, let's go.
It's okay. Oh. I could definitely stay here a bit longer, but uh, now I better get back home. Um, calendars are waiting to be signed and uh, yeah, <laughs> I start to feel a little bad that I'm photographing up here now, but oh, it, it's, such a, it's so quiet, it's so nice up here in the forest. But yeah, time to pack, and get home and then yeah, I'll post some of them on uh, Instagram and uh, I'll also write the settings I used like aperture, shutter speed, ISO and stuff. So uh, yeah, see you out there.